Samsung may be preparing a major shift with the Galaxy S26 series, and this change could shape the future of its flagship phones. For years, Samsung has relied heavily on Qualcomm Snapdragon chips for most Galaxy S models, especially in premium markets. However, new analysis suggests that Samsung now wants to reduce this dependence and give its own Exynos chips a much bigger role. According to industry analyst Samir Kazaka, the Galaxy S26 could be the starting point of a long-term strategy change. Samsung is no longer treating Exynos as a secondary option or a backup plan. Instead, the company appears to be rebuilding Exynos from the ground up, investing heavily in new technology, better performance, and tighter control over its own hardware ecosystem. The first big sign of this shift is the new Exynos 2600 chip. This processor is expected to power around 25% of Galaxy S26 models. While that number may not sound huge, the technology behind the Exynos 2600 is what really matters. This chip is reported to be the world's first smartphone processor built using advanced 2 nanometer technology. This puts Samsung at the cutting edge of chip manufacturing ahead of many competitors. The Exynos 2600 also introduces several major upgrades. Its GPU is the first to use AMD's RDNA 4 architecture, which is a big deal for graphics performance. AMD's RDNA technology has already proven itself in gaming consoles and PCs, and bringing RDNA 4 to smartphones could lead to better graphics, smoother gaming, and improved visual performance overall. This is a clear sign that Samsung wants Exynos to compete seriously with Snapdragon, not just exist as a cheaper alternative. Another important feature of the Exynos 2600s is its new heat path block, or HPB, technology. Heat management has always been a weak point for Exynos chips in the past. Overheating and throttling hurt performance and damage the chip's reputation. With HPB, Samsung is trying to solve this issue directly by improving how heat moves away from critical components. Better thermal control means more stable performance, longer sustained speeds, and a better user experience. Samsung's ambitions do not stop with the Exynos 2600. Reports already suggest that the company is working on the Exynos 2800 expected around 2027. This future chip may use a fully in-house GPU instead of relying on external partners. If this happens, Samsung would have even more control over performance, efficiency, and optimization, similar to what Apple does with its own silicon. Kazaka points out that Samsung has been designing more and more of its own components across its devices. This trend strongly suggests that the company plans to increase the share of Exynos chips in future Galaxy S models. It would not make sense for Samsung to spend billions on in-house chip development only to keep Exynos limited to a small portion of its lineup forever. Right now, about 75% of Galaxy S26 models are expected to use the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5. This decision is understandable. Snapdragon chips have consistently delivered strong performance, better efficiency, and wider global trust. Exynos, on the other hand, lost competitiveness over the years due to weaker performance and thermal issues. That is exactly what Samsung is now trying to fix. Reducing reliance on Qualcomm is not just about performance, it is also about cost. Qualcomm has increased the price of its Snapdragon 8 Gen chips every single year since the first generation. These rising costs put pressure on Samsung's pricing strategy, especially at a time when smartphone components are becoming more expensive across the board. Samsung has reportedly not finalized the pricing for the Galaxy S26 yet, even though the launch is expected in February. Component costs, including chips, displays, cameras, and memory, continue to rise. If Samsung remains fully dependent on Snapdragon, it may be forced to raise prices even further. By improving Exynos and using it in more models, Samsung could gain better cost control and protect its profit margins. The Galaxy S26 could therefore end up costing more than the Galaxy S25, but a stronger Exynos lineup might help limit those increases in the future. If Samsung succeeds, Exynos could become a powerful internal alternative that reduces Qualcomm's influence over Galaxy S pricing and supply chains. However, everything depends on performance. The year 2026 is shaping up to be a critical moment for Samsung's chip strategy. The success or failure of the Exynos 2600 will likely determine how fast Samsung moves away from Snapdragon in future models. If the Exynos 2600 delivers on its promises, Samsung may confidently increase its usage in upcoming Galaxy S phones. On the other hand, if Exynos 2600 fails to match expectations, Samsung's entire plan could slow down or even collapse. Poor performance, overheating, or efficiency issues would damage trust again and force Samsung to stick with Snapdragon for longer than planned. This is why the Galaxy S26 matters so much. It is not just another flagship upgrade. It represents a test of Samsung's ability to stand on its own in the most critical part of a smartphone, the processor. A successful Exynos revival could reshape the balance of power in the Android world and give Samsung greater independence. For users, 
The idea of more Exynos powered Galaxy S models brings mixed feelings. Some want better prices. Others only care about performance. Many will only accept Exynos if it truly matches or beats Snapdragon in real world use. Samsung is clearly aware of this pressure, which explains the massive investment in new manufacturing nodes, GPU technology, and thermal solutions. The Galaxy S26 may only be the beginning, but it could mark the moment when Samsung finally commits to controlling its own future. If Exynos delivers, the Galaxy S lineup could look very different in the years ahead.